Wolverine returns to Xavier's Institute for Mutant Education after he left several months ago without saying goodbye. He goes inside and finds the young mutants who are extremely happy to see him return. Shark Girl gives Logan a hug saying how much they missed him and Santo asked him if he had heard the big news. The Glob has a date. Shark Girl brings out Glob's phone and says she met Sasha on Mutant Mingle, a dating site for mutants, while Logan remarks that Glob is a good soul and any lady would be lucky to have him. Back in his room, Glob uses pencils to chat with Sasha and tells her how beautiful she is and can't wait to meet her. She is worried that Glob might not like her in person but Glob says that he gets butterflies every time he sees her profile picture and she has nothing to worry about. Shark Girl interrupts him and throws a jacket over his head saying he shouldn't wear any clothes and just wear this jacket. Glob begins to doubt the whole thing and wants to abort the date but his friend encourages him by saying that Sasha already saw how he looks and still wants to go out with him. But somehow that didn't make Glob feel any better. Glob follows the address and arrives in Long Island. He knocks on the door but nobody answered so he went inside. Sadly, the date was a trap and he was ambushed by the purifiers. The purifiers kidnapped Sasha and threatened to kill her if Glob refused to do what they asked. They let him speak to Sasha and he assures her everything is going to be okay and he will do anything they ask from him. The purifiers hate mutants and want to exterminate them. They ask Glob to wear explosives around his body and detonate them inside the institute or else they will kill Sasha. Glob returns to the institute just as Logan was about to leave again but he didn't want to talk about his date and just goes inside. Logan smelled the explosives around his body and follows Glob inside but when he opens the door there was a powerful explosion. Glob detonated the bombs in the lobby but there was nobody around he didn't want to hurt anyone. The other mutants asked what was going on and he came clean telling Logan everything that happened. But that's when the purifiers arrived and decided to attack the institute believing that Glob did most of the job for them. The purifiers begin shooting the rest of the mutants while Logan organized a defense. Several purifiers enter the institute. They were trying to burn the place down and kill as many mutants as they could. And Glob was shocked when he found them inside one of the rooms. Sasha wasn't actually a mutant. She was a member of the purifiers and tricked Glob into arranging a date she despises mutants and calls him a gross bag of organs asking if he really thought that someone would want to date him. She tells him to look in the mirror saying that all mutants repulse her. Calling him pathetic and disgusting as if the insults weren't enough, Sasha then tries to burn him alive saying that he's going to die. Sad and alone, that's when Shark Girl knocks her out with a powerful punch in the face breaking several of her teeth. They find the leader of the purifiers inside the vault room while he was trying to kill the mutant children who were hiding. Glob was infuriated and jumped at him saying he won't let him hurt anyone. He knocks him out with a powerful punch, remarking that he deserves it for using him the way they did. Several hours later, Logan spends time with Glob saying it wasn't his fault, they tricked him and he shouldn't feel bad about it. Glob thinks he is stupid for thinking that someone would be interested in going on a date with him and he should just accept that he'll always be alone. But Logan says he isn't alone, he still has all his friends from the institute and whatever happens, they are his family.